All right, so we're going to do benchmark comparisons between the M1 Mac Mini and the M1 MacBook Air. Both are awesome devices. Can't wait to see what they do. We're going to start with a boot to desktop, and that's going to be the menu bar and the dock, both loaded fully. So let's kick this off. We're going to run that as the first test. Then we're going to do a disk speed test and as well as a Geekbench test which will encompass a bunch of different testing so then we will compare it all and see how it all looks all right one thing to note is that the time will be off a little bit between the iPhone and the actual time we got a 2572 seconds was the actual time for the Mac mini to boot so now we'll want to dive in, see how fast it takes for the MacBook Air to boot up. So let's reset the time and start the test. Will the MacBook Air be faster than the Mac Mini on boot to desktop time? What are your guesses? Dang. Whoa. 1743 seconds was the actual time. So that means that M1 MacBook Air is 8.29 seconds faster boot time than the M1 Mac Mini. That's pretty awesome. Let's check out the M1 Mac Mini disk speed test. So we're going to use Blackmagic disk speed test. Open that up. We're going to need to click start. And then to stop it, you'll want to click the start button again. So let's click start and get the test going. For write, we got a 2732.9 and for read, 2853.7. That's pretty awesome for the Mac Mini. Let's check out the MacBook Air disk speed test and then compare them. Open up the Blackmagic disk speed test and click start again. 2383.3 megabytes per second write, 2751.5 megabytes per second read. So let's do a little bit of a comparison and we'll end up with a write speed, the Air, the Mini actually does pretty dang good in this. So the, the Mini is faster in the, the read and the write for both in that test. That's, that's pretty awesome. So the Air loses on that one. Now let's check out the Mac Mini Geekbench benchmarks. All right, so Geekbench is an awesome tool. allows you to do analysis of your system. We're going to run the CPU benchmark on this device right now. It'll run through a bunch of tests. I do speed through the test to try to make it a little bit easier and not take so dang long. All right, so we got a single core score of 1732 and a multi-core score of 7486, which is Sweet, let's go down and check out the break breakdown of the different tests so that you can see the information that's being gathered during the test and what those scores are. So if any of these are in particular, you might want to write down the number and then compare it with the, the error when we run the test on the error. Seventeen thirty-two and seventy-four eighty-six. All right, so now let's go and run the compute for the OpenCL. We'll run the compute benchmark, and we'll do the same thing and speed that up a little bit so that we can get to it. All right. 19,257 for an open CL score. Let's scroll down through the list and see what kind of information we got here. 
for different tests so you have that information. Sometimes when you click on the comparison it'll show you some stuff down below. And close out of that and now we're going to run the metal test so we're going to choose that open CL and run the metal test. Let it run through all its different stuff. We'll just speed that up. All right, 21,596 for a metal score. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through, kind of check out what the metal performance looks like. Yeah, after we run through the MacBook Air test, we'll be able to compare the Geekbench marks, the boot time, and everything against each other just to see how they fare against each other all right so let's hop on over and do the macbook air geekbench benchmarks let's open up geekbench 5 and you know i like to um do software impact analysis so that i understand how software impacts a system I'll use this tool for one of the tools in my mix of uh, understanding what has happened to a system. All right, 1724 for a single core score and 7394 for a multi core score on that MacBook Air. Scroll down through the list, check that out. So yeah, when I run the impact analysis, I'll be able to see like what the difference is. Did a piece of software change my boot time or is it causing memory to be used up, CPU usage to be used up, different things. So it's, it's kind of nice to be able to run that and determine what software impact has on your system. All right, let's switch over to the compute and do the OpenCL compute benchmark and gather that data all right 17,014 for an open CL score let's scroll down and see what kind of information we got here open CL performance all right, so now let's hop over and do the compute metal option. Gathering the metal data, performance data. All right. 17,972 for a metal score. Let's scroll down and check out what these devices uh, are, what this information looks like. All right, so now that we have all our information, let's compare the two devices and see what kind of differences and see which one is winning. All right, so final analysis down at the bottom. We've got MacBook Air is 8.29 second faster boot. The Mac Mini wins in all the other categories over the MacBook Air. That is just absolutely crazy. You know, if you're looking for other benchmarks, definitely check out these other videos. Get subscribed to the channel. You guys have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.